Whoa, hey! Be goddamn careful, would ya? You could have hit someone! Are you okay? Are you hurt anywhere? Ah, oh, shit. Sorry. I'm all gross and sweaty. <laughs> oh. Hey. You're that freshman, right? Yeah. I recognize your face. What brings you... Oh, boy. Sorry, coach. I'll get back to training. Let's chat later. I need to get back to work. All right. Let's get our game on. We have only one goal, and that is to win. Do not lose your focus, gentlemen. Do not forget that cooperation here is essential. If we don't come together, we'll fail. We've come a long way to get here, to where we are, and we will not let anyone stand in our way. Now, let's bring that trophy home, shall we? Hey, you're improving. <laughs> so much. I'm proud of your sons to get the hang of things. I expect you to be on your best during the final game. And hey there. It's good to see you too. Good luck to all of us, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll see you tomorrow, dude. You're still here. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't get impatient or got bored from watching us practice and train. Oh. <laughs> You didn't need to give me that bottle of water. But thanks, cutie. <laughs> I appreciate it. <sighs> Why did I call you cutie? Well, I always see you wearing oversized hoodies or sweaters. It makes you look tinier and cuter. Then again, you always are. <laughs> I know your name. I did say earlier, I recognize your face. <clears throat> I, uh... Your name, Nash, you just got... Um, you know... Passed around. So, that's how I know. Don't worry, cutie. I doubt anyone would talk badly about you. I mean, just look at you. An attractive person walking around would definitely get people talking. <laughs> Clearly you never used a mirror before. <laughs> ah, shit. Hmm. It's nothing. Uh, I just can't find my towel. I think I misplaced it somewhere. Great. Nice going, idiot. Oh, you, you don't need to. You've given enough already. Hey, hey. Wait, don't get too close. I'm all stinky and sweaty, and... I'm your senior. I'm older than you, yet here you are taking care of me like I'm a little kid. Giving me a bottle of water, offering your face towel to wipe off the sweat off my face. Hmm? Am I nervous? About what? Oh. <laughs> you mean the finals? <laughs> nah. I ain't nervous at all. I battled with different other teams from other schools, even back during my high school days. I'm pretty much used to this. <laughs> When you're the captain of your team, you gotta show your teammates, and the rest of the people, that you're confident in your capabilities in leading a group. You gotta earn their trust in order for that to co that cooperation to play out. You have to be understanding and patient with what your team can do, so you can see where they can improve on and motivate them to do better. 
Do you really think all captains in varsity teams are mean? <laughs> Don't let those cheesy romance movies get to your head, cutie. Not all captains are assholes. Some are nice. Like me. <laughs> when are the finals? Well, I ask. Are you going to come and support me? Write my name on a banner and shout, Go our sexy captain. <laughs> Ah, you're a bold one, aren't ya? All right, bet. I'm expecting to see you hold a sign or a banner with my name on it. Eh, that's too late, cutie. I want to see you on the front bench waving a banner and screaming out my name so everyone can hear who you're cheering on. <laughs> screaming out my name is embarrassing. How? Is my name ugly? <laughs> Because we're in public and there's going to be a lot of people hearing it. <laughs> then? Do you prefer me screaming out my name in private then? For only you and I can hear it. Ow! Hey! <laughs> I'm just teasing you, cutie. The game is this Friday after lunch. Are you going to come watch? No. Oh. You're gonna be busy. So you won't watch the game or be able to watch the game? <sighs> no worries. It's understandable. I know the courses you're taking is pretty difficult and you need to study extra hard for it. Yeah, Saturday classes are a pain in the ass. <laughs> hey, tell you what. Let's make a deal. If you get a perfect score in your quiz, I'll give you snacks every study session you have at school. But if my team wins the finals, you have to bring water and snacks to me every practice. What do you say? <laughs> but it's a good deal though, if you think about it. It's a neck and neck battle. Hey, this, is, this isn't some scheme. For me to get a free treat every practice. <laughs> Come on, cutie. You're pretty and smart. I know you can ace that quiz, no problem. Hell, you might even win this little deal. <laughs> I'm not jinxing our game. That's why I said it's a neck and neck battle. I want my team, or rather our school, to win, and you need to get a great high score to get good grades. You better get your big girl pants on, cutie, if you really want to win this deal. And just to let you know, I don't back down easily. What if we both won? Hmm. If we both win, then, is there anything you want to do? If you can't think of anything, then let's just go out sometime. Maybe grab lunch or dinner or just walk around somewhere. Yeah. Just you and me. It's a date then. You heard me, Missy. It's a date. I mean it. It's gonna be you and me getting to know each other better and enjoying one's company. <laughs> Isn't that what a date is? You think you're cutting in line? Because so many people are in line to hang out with me. So, what if we just met? After spending this time with you, I kind of want to get to know you better. You're funny, interesting, cute, a bit sassy. <laughs> so, date then? Great. Let's get to it. Um, maybe a week after the game? <laughs> oh, right. It's going to get dark real soon. Let's go home, shall we? Wait, you don't live in the dorms. Why not? Ah. I see. Well, let's go. Hmm? Oh. I'm taking you home. Yes. I do live in the university dorms, and nope. I'm not tired, cutie. I'm an athlete. 
I ain't got no limits. Plus, it's getting dark. I wouldn't want you walking around alone. I'm your senior, and I'm older, which means I gotta look after you. Don't worry. I won't get sick or too tired. I'll rest easy once I get home. So, how was your day? <laughs> Oh. I'd be annoyed, honestly, too. I remember being in your position as a freshman. And professors would randomly start a quiz. Some even make it a hundred item quiz. Like, who in their right mind does that? <laughs> How was my day? Oh, you know. The usual. Skipping classes to go out and drink, then sneaking back into campus for practice. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <sighs> I don't even remember what happened today. Everything felt like a blur until you came into the gym. My life as a team captain feels like a blur routine. They all kind of blend together since nothing new happens. Waking up, going to school, pretending to listen, getting called in for training until 6 in the evening, go home, then rest, and it's just repeat. It's an everyday boring life for me. <laughs> yeah, that's literally it. I'm not joking. I don't go out and attend parties or something. It might just hinder my training the next day or whenever we have training. I gotta set an example to my teammates as well as an, an aspiring player in my university. <laughs> How did I become a team captain? My mother is the coach of the university. That's why I got an easy pass to be the captain. I'm joking. You're a gullible one. <laughs> no, but seriously. I became one because, like any other, I was working hard, doing my part for the team until the coach decided that I would become the leader. He said that I was just what the team needed. Eh, I don't mind. Whether I be the captain or not, I don't really mind. It, I'm just playing the sports. It makes me happy. Thanks. I'm proud of myself, too, for getting to where I am now. You know, I've never felt this calm before. Even when it's quiet, the silence between us isn't awkward. You weren't the first one I walked home with before. And let me tell you, when it gets quiet between me and all those girls I'm, I've walked home, it gets really, like, painfully awkward. Just thinking about those days make me cringe. <laughs> but here, with you... Even when we're both quiet, it isn't awkward at all. In fact, I like the peacefulness. Hmm? I feel like it's because you're really easy to get along with and really easy to talk to. You don't try hard to talk about anything. <laughs> Trust me, I've met so many people who act like they care about what I do and the things I'm into just to get close to me. But you, though... I can tell just by how you look at me that you're genuine about all of this. <laughs> Please. You're way different compared to them. You're even the first person I met that didn't want a picture. Nah. No. I didn't say I don't like it when people want a picture with me. I just find it weird, you know? Like. I'm just a simple dude that loves playing sports. People treat me like I'm some sort of athlete star or, or celebrity or something. It's just as if they've never seen somebody do what they love doing. It's just a bit weird, you know? <laughs> alright, alright. Tone down with the compliments, QB. I get it. Oh. We're close to your home? Huh. That's too bad. I wanted to be with you a little more. Can we walk a little slower? <laughs> yes, I'm using it as an excuse to be with you. 
Even when the sun isn't down, I can see the blush on your cheeks. You like me, don't you? You're denying it. What if I say I like you too? You know exactly what I mean by that. Oh, is that your mother waiting in the front of your house? Yeah, I tricked you so I can kiss you on the forehead. <laughs> hey, ow, <laughs> don't hit me. Oh, this is your house? We're actually in front of your house. Wow. You're lucky enough your mom wasn't actually there to see me kiss her forehead. Or else you'd be in trouble. <laughs> uh, as much as I want to spend more time with you, I guess it's a goodbye for now. Hey. Whatever the results will be in our little deal, whoever wins, can we still go and hang, hang out? Just you and me. I look forward to it. I ain't going anywhere to you. Go inside your house. What if a raccoon suddenly comes out and attacks you? Who's going to be there to protect you? <laughs> Seriously, cutie. Go on ahead. I just want to make sure you get home safe. Yeah. <laughs> I want something. I want a hug, but I'm all gross, so. Really? You'll hug me on our date. You better hold on to your words. I'm going to be waiting for that hug. I'll see you tomorrow at school. Good night. And boo. Hi guys. Hello. Um this is weird. I never usually do this, but uh I just need to say a few things. Um as you can tell, I'm still uploading every day. Hi. <laughs> I'm going crazy. Trust me. But um, I just want to say that uh, when I found <laughs> this script to, that I did by, um, sorry, uh, Sk Skippy, <laughs> um, I immediately thought to myself that, hey, I need to do this script. It also, because um, someone very very close to me and that I care deeply about <laughs> um, loves volleyball so more or less I, I when I saw a script I immediately thought of her so I was like yeah I'm t there's no way I'm not gonna do the script <laughs> so this video is dedicated to her so if you're watching this I don't know what to say because I already said all this stuff to you already but uh you are the reason why I am still posting on this channel you gave me motivation to do all of this you were there from the beginning of this channel and now you're <laughs> you're seeing and the amount of growth this channel has done and I will forever be grateful for you. You have no idea how grateful I really am because it's so unexplainable. Because without her, I would have not done this. I, I wouldn't have got the confidence boost to do this at all. She, she's, she's been here from the start, from the start when I made this channel, the first video that I posted last year in January to here now, one year later. This girl means the world to me. And uh, I felt happy to be able to do this script 
because she also loves volleyball. So, you know, killing two birds with one stone, I guess. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you enjoy the video. And I hope you enjoyed the video too. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.